And so there's abundant evidence that people who exercise more, if you control for socioeconomic status and various other factors, are, for example, they're smarter, they're, they're happier, they're less anxious, they're less depressed, they're wealthier, um, they have better sex, they sleep better. Um, uh, you know, so that lends to the question, who are these people who aren't getting enough exercise, right? <laughs> and the answer, sadly, is most of us. Again, if you, dis if you define uh, physical inactivity as not getting uh, uh, 150 minutes a week, that's the US Surgeon General's minimum requirements, uh, recommended requirements, then about 50 to percent to, to three quarters of adult Americans are actually, by that definition, sedentary. And children are recommended to get an hour a day, and about two thirds of children in the United States are, are inactive. So it's a, it's a big problem in the United States, and if you think we're the worst part of the world, well, you can think again. This is a graph from the World Health Organization showing uh, physical inactivity among adolescent children around the world. And as you can see, uh, it's a very serious epidemic problem all around the world, and it's clearly something we need to do uh, something about. So the question is, how do we address it? Well, the way in which most people address most problems is looking for the proximate explanations. These are the immediate sort of how questions. And it's not very hard to figure out why most people are physically inactive, because they're doing well what most of the people in this room are doing. They're sitting most of the time. Right? We have jobs that require us to sit most of the day. When we get to work, we sit in order to get there. We, we sit when we watch TV and the internet. Um, we have all kinds of labor-saving devices, like elevators and escalators, that prevent us from having to, to break a sweat and raise our heartbeat. We even have constructed our environment so that it's actually difficult sometimes to exercise. Uh, sidewalks are missing from a lot of American uh, suburbs. But those are just proximate explanations. As Theodosius Dobzhensky famously wrote, nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. And evolution explains why things are the way we are. And, I, and to understand why we have this problem, we also need to take an evolutionary perspective. And I would argue that for most of human evolution, it's pretty obvious that exercise was necessary particularly endurance exercise, but it was also adaptive to spend as little time exercising as possible. 